everybody but me say everybody. KCMO, born and raised if you ain't get the memo. Slipping in my city is a no. We put down the demo. Hey you guys, long time no see seem like. But I'm here with another Ask Bossy and this is just a video I do where people send me questions and ask my advice or my take on their situations to my askbossy gmail.com email and um yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and answer these now i have a lot because i haven't been recording so i'm gonna try to get through as many as i can you guys so if you don't hear yours this time i'm sorry and i will also respond to you in the email if i don't have time to put it in a video um but yeah this is the, the advice i would take and you don't have to take it but we're just gonna go ahead and get into it so the first one says, hey bossy, I need advice. Okay girl, I'll give it to you. When I was in high school, I had a big group of girlfriends. Also, I was really good with a couple of guys. One of these guys was a really good friend of mine for a long time and after a while he started dating one of these girls from my group. Their relationship was horrible and I was always in between them trying to save things. They eventually had a pretty nasty breakup. After high school, me and this girl start to grow apart, but there is no bad blood or anything. Me and her ex remain really good friends. One day, I go out with all the guys and get a little bit drunk. Ah, oh, shoot. This guy always brought me home after we went out, and I always invited him in for a drink. Mm -hmm. But this time it went wrong and I slept with him. I was really ashamed at first, but on the other hand, I actually liked it more than I thought I would. This girl found out and was pissed. This girl is really the queen bee and a lot of other girls do whatever she wants. So now all my friends don't want to see me anymore. And then, even worse, I started to catch feelings for this really great guy. So I have two questions. How do you think I can make things better with my friends? And should I go for this guy? I don't know if he likes me. Thank you so much. You are amazing. Wow. Uh, I don't think, me personally, sweetheart, this is just me. I'm not about to date one of my friend's exes. If this is a really good friend of mine, hell. Even if she ain't my best friend, she still, I consider her a friend. Like you're saying, this is a friend of yours. What you did wasn't right. Um, me personally, I wouldn't do that. Because if it was the other way around, I wouldn't. Yes, I'm over him and everything like that. But I feel like it would make the situation awkward. This is just my opinion. Everybody, some people don't mind that. But you're asking me, so I'm telling you. I don't think I could do that. Now, whether you continue to mess with him because you have feelings for him, you have to realize that you're not going to be able to hang with them girls like that since the girl feels some type of way. So you have to realize it's either him or that group of girls that seem to don't like you no more. But at this point, hell, they don't like you. You already done did the dude. So go on with the dude. Hopefully y'all don't end up breaking up how they did. All I can say is good luck. But I wouldn't have done it, me personally but hopefully it works out for you this next one says hey bossy hey girl i've written you before i'm the girl that had the problem with the three guys just an update i haven't pursued anything with any of them i spoke to guy number two from time to time and also spoke to number three every now and again i was still kind of lost with the situation so i decided to stay single at the time i wrote the first email i had just moved to columbus ohio back to my hometown of dayton Ohio. Ever since I moved down here, I have been in and out of the hospital. I have a blood disease, sickle cell anemia, so I deal with a lot of pain. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I have no idea why, but I have been in the hospital every month with something going on with me, along with my sickle cell, when deciding it wants to show its ugly head. My problem is that I'm lonely. I have all this family that lives down here, but when it comes to me going into the hospital, everyone is MIA. I've been wanting to just pack up my dog and myself and move back to Connecticut to be closer to my mom or moving back to Columbus to be around my dad, my sister, and my friends. Bossy, I am more than confused. 
I've been staying with my grandmother since I've been down here. And you know when you, you can sense you're not wanted somewhere. That's the feeling and sensation I get when I'm home with her. What should I do? Please help. Thank you. Well, love, it's really up to you. If you feel like you're not wanted and you're being a burden to them and they might not be saying something, but you still sense it, then just go back to your family. Like, why did you move? Did you move just because of the guy situation? And now it seems like your health is starting to be messing with you since you've been there. Could it be stress? Maybe you do need to go back either with your mom or with your dad. But don't just, um, you know, stay where you're not wanted. I probably would go back to my mama and my daddy. This next one says, Hi, Bossy. My name is Crystal, and I just want to start off by saying I love your channel. I watch each and every one of your videos. You are truly an inspiration to me. I am 29 years old, and I just recently got out of a 10-year relationship. He cheated on me three times. The last time with a 17-year-old girl. He is 29. Shame. We have a five-year-old daughter together, and as of right now, I am a complete loss. I am uncertain on which direction to go in. I do not have any college education. My job pays $12.25 an hour, which just isn't enough to take care of a child on my own. I have no idea what steps I should take or direction I should go to ensure my daughter and I will have a decent life. Any advice that you have to offer me would be greatly appreciated. Well, you just have your daughter and you. With me, right now, I make a pretty good amount of money just by myself. But it wasn't always like that. When I started working like a serious job, the same one I've been at almost 10 years, I started making $12.75. And I had three daughters. But I made a way. Um, you might think it's impossible. I don't know where you live, how the cost of living is, but don't sell yourself short. You can do it. Um, just try to budget more, but don't feel like because you didn't go to college that you're not going to be able to make it, um, as far as with you and your daughter. You can be just fine. There are some people that make less than that and they're, I mean, it's tough. And they may want more and that's fine. Everyone should want to strive for better. But don't feel like you're always going to be stuck there. You're going to eventually progress. You don't have to stay getting that same amount of pay. You might find a bigger and better job with more income, more benefits. So don't just give up yet. Yeah, because he did you wrong and he's not there anymore. And you might feel kind of like, what am I going to do now? He's not here. I'm stuck. I'm struggling. It gets better. It's not going to always be that way. This next one says, Hey, Bossy, first off, I want to let you know that I love your personality and I don't go around telling any, everyone that. Here's the ish. Okay, girl. I'm 24 and I've been dating my with my ex for eight years now. Last year, I got pregnant by him and two months later, he told me he was talking to his other ex that lives in Hawaii. Mind you, this man been asking me for money and we still having sex. Hmm? Huh? I was five months pregnant when I found out he went to his ex-sister's graduation and had sex with his ex-girlfriend and had the female hung up in my face while I was talking to him. And she called my phone while I was in the hospital. Due to all the stress while I was eight months, I lost my daughter. Oh, I'm so sorry. See, oh, that is so sad. I'm sorry to hear that. I never wanted to talk to him again, but... He hit me up from his job and on Instagram. We talked, had sex, and was back on track. He had a wedding to go to and didn't have enough money for the suit, and I wasn't going to give him 200 and something dollars. But he asked me for 60 for the event the boys was going to do, so I gave it to him. The wedding was that following week. Forwarding to a month and a half, I found out I'm pregnant with twins. And he tells me he's been talking to a female he met at the same wedding he wanted me to give him money for. He ended up getting into a relationship with her and I was mad as fuck. I'm almost three months now and last week him and I had sex again. I shouldn't have done it. I thought him and the girl broke up. I didn't push up on him. He did all the leading. The next day I'm like, let's go somewhere. And he tells me it's going to be weird. I'm like, MF, you still in a relationship? 
This bitch told me, don't do that. It takes two to tangle. So the next day, I DM the girl and tell her everything. And she tells me they've been having sex since the second week of the wedding. I asked my ex, did he have sex with her this month? And he told me no. Come to find out, he's been having unprotected sex with her and has sex with me unprotected the same week. And I'm having his babies. I told him if I got something from him, it's his ass. The girl claimed she was going to break up with him. But the next day, she said he said he wants to become a better man. And I'm looking like, bitch, I tried for eight years. He didn't tell his mother that I'm pregnant again this time with twins, so I told her. My question is, was I wrong for DMing the girl and telling his mom? And I want to hear your input. Thanks, hon. Well, first off, this is a whole lot. And sorry if y'all hear the vacuum, but I I'm going to answer this. So hopefully it doesn't irritate y'all. But why do you keep going back to him? I'm so sorry that you lost your child. That stress can really do something to a woman. But you're pregnant now again with these twins. Don't worry about this man. Do not. Yeah, it's good you told his mama. She knows she's having two grandchildren. But don't be DMing these chicks. He's not worth it, it seems like. You could have left that alone. Now she coming back. Y'all like, it's too much communication. Why? He ain't your husband. He ain't no... You know what? Yes, he's the father of your kids. I hope this pregnancy ends well with you having two babies in your arm at the end of this. But this is, for me, that's too much. It's too much mess. It's too much going back and forth. Leave it alone, sweetheart. You're still pretty young. You're 24. Now all you need to think about is living for your children. Don't worry about whether you was wrong for DMing this chick and telling the mama. No, you can tell the mama he got kids on the way. That's fine. She needs to know because it seemed like he wasn't trying to tell her. But the other chick, don't worry about these girls. It seemed like he going to keep doing the same old thing. Get that stress away from you. Don't because you don't want to go through the same thing you did at eight months with your other pregnancy. So leave him alone. Don't focus on none of his drama. So you guys, that'll be it for these of Ask Bosties. I'm gonna make them a little shorter, so not as long as they were initially. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any advice for any of the questions that were read in this video today, make sure y'all give some of y'all advice or what y'all would do. And if y'all don't agree with me, fine. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye loves.